What's happening? Something special today. I want to show off a deck that's been in the works for quite some time. You're going to see a lot of photos. Well, you probably already have seen a lot of photos of this deck show up on all the forums and all the Facebook channels. Um, but tonight, I'm privileged to be able to wheel one in, literally wheel one in. Any second now, it's going to wheel in. <laughs> and no, it's not the... Um, we're not promoting a special beer brand today. Uh, we're it's like a um, thing from the Adams family just automatically appearing. But I think what we want to do, to, well, what I want to do today is talk about the flow state decks, uh, deck and enclosure combos that are made available. Um, and it's one thing seeing a photo of the deck and enclosure, but it's another thing actually seeing one that's been completed um, and seeing one that's completed it's really important because you don't really get to feel or get get to understand what your build could look like when you put your own components on it so what we're looking at here is obviously a full complete flow state deck we've got an awesome bubblegum blue and pink to go with it and that is super clean and super awesome and i'm hoping the camera angle can show off the curvature of this deck as well because it's it's one thing that uh, the flow state boys really wanted to work on getting a nice oh, I, 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 I want to say smooth clean concave that's a little bit wider for your you know your six foot riders to be able to stand comfortably not get any foot fatigue but at the same time give you a good riding stance as well and I think this board ticks all the boxes. Um, it is super clean and super awesome. So yeah, concave is neat. And this is eight layers maple with one layer carbon fiber cross weave that's meshed in the middle as well. So super stable, right? And another thing that you're, you're looking at as you look at the side is not only does the deck concave in a sexy fashion, but that enclosure, it is built for this deck. And I think just by looking at it from the side and the low level gasket that's in there, it gives a nice clean finish. And this enclosure, there are no rises on the Matrix 3 trucks here. So this is as low as it can possibly go running seven inch wheels. And you still have a, a fair amount of clearance at the bottom as well. I tend to believe that if you are gonna put risers on the Matrix 3, you do lose some of that ride feel. So I think we've gone the right way on this complete by keeping it as low to the ground as possible to give that rider an awesome, almost like a go-kart feel close to the ground. And this deck ticks all the boxes. So this enclosure, it's, it is a double stack, 96 cells, 12 SAP, built by yours truly, right? Um, I was cutting a photo so you can see what it looks like during the build process. So yep, the, the battery was wrapped up upon completion as well, and it's tucked in nice and tight. So, just in case I haven't shown it off, I've got to get my muscles on, guys, because this boy is heavy. Look at that. Look at that. Let's zoom in closer. Wow. I've been doing squats, right? Get those glutes happening. If we go that way. How's that? Look how clean that is. Come on, you can't tell me that doesn't look sexy. That is damn right awesome. So this is for those folks that are on the fence looking at a deck and enclosure combo. How can you finish that deck and enclosure combo? This is how you finish it off, right? So we've got the Matrix 3 extra wide aluminium hubs. These are seven inch uh, wheels on there. And on the back end, We've got the trusty Radiums 205 KV matched up with a DV6 Pro with the new big gear drives as well. And that back end looks pretty sweet. Um, it ticks all the boxes, folks. So from a deck and enclosure perspective, I'm hoping that when you see the deck and enclosures, you, you, you're looking beyond, wow, the color. Because the color's great, but have a think about what the end product, what you wanted to see um, look like. And, and hopefully you choose the right components for it. I know this deck, the components 
check all the boxes. Well, for me anyway, um, with the Matrix 3, the white shock blocks will make it super carby. They're on the outside setting as well, but super loose, enough to carve out. Um, so, can I ride it? Probably not, because it's too late at night. Um, I do want to ride it. Uh, maybe soon, we'll get some riding uh, video happening. Uh, maybe we'll do uh, the stereotypical e-skate ride with the um, flailing inflatable tube man style where we're riding around, you know, what, what all, the, all the cool cats riding evolved skateboards do, right? Um, maybe we'll do one of those. But yeah, look, massive shout out to the boys at Flow State for punching this out and entrusting me with showing it off today because it looks absolutely sweet. And as per usual, you know, I don't have wheels on my bench just for good looks. They're there so I can do a spin. Now price is right, sell the century style stuff. I'm puffed. It's hard work making content and lifting boards. You don't believe me? Try it yourself. Um, so yeah, I'm super pumped, super stoked. This build's gonna hit the, um, hit the streets pretty soon. So when you see it, make way, because it's gonna be flying past you guys. Let's zoom in on the underside again. I do wanna show off that grommet, right? That's the back there. That's nice and clean. It's just a clean way to finish off the cable routing. I see a lot of folks with cable routing, they almost build a rod for their own backs where they tend to wanna make connectors plugging into the enclosure and then into the ESC. You really don't need to because the radium motors come with the phase wise so long already that you can just, don't chop them. If you've got an undermount skateboard like a flow state deck, just route those cable right wires right in and plug them into the ESC inside the enclosure. There's enough room in there to make it nice and neat. So um, I hope you enjoy this bit. It's come up pretty sweet. I know it looks bloody delicious. I feel like I want to, I need a big knife to cut it. It's like a cake almost. Um, maybe put some candles on there. Um, anyway, folks, catch you later. Right, so before I go, some shenanigans took place because we had to ride the board. I mean, what, what's the point of showcasing a board if you don't get to ride it? Um, and I've got the jacket on, right? It's pretty chilly outside, even though we're nearly in summer in Melbourne, but the wheels are dirty, guys. Look at that. Wow, oh no, oh no. Can I just say a few, few things? Um, the stands on this board is perfect. I'm six foot, right? And one, one of the challenges I find with, with um, picking a deck is getting a deck that's big enough to suit, built for me, right? And I think this checks all the boxes because I can stand with my feet at the perfect distance further apart than I normally would. So big shout out to the team at Flow State for thinking about the, uh, the, the foot placement extra wide. Another thing I'm gonna add, it's super silent. You're gonna to have to wear a, a, a bell around your neck or something because if you're riding around the park with the newbie trucks, nobody's gonna hear you. And it is just sublime. The ride is sublime. Everything is awesome. Life is awesome. The color is awesome. You, you know what? I'm, I'm thinking we should have done like a, a, a Ken on Knuff. Um, Knuff, you know, the Aussie version. Um, oh geez, if we could go back in time, we could get the graphics right. But anyway, um, yeah, it is awesome. I'm super wrapped. The owner's super wrapped. Everyone smiles and laughs. Um, we've got to finish the beers off and hopefully that's all we have. But um, anyhow, cheers guys. See you.